Hey everybody, Hostas Toss here and welcome to the Seven Years War 1756 to 1763 developed by indie developer Oliver Keppelmuller. Now we're going to be doing the Pomeranian DLC which depicts the confronta confrontation between Sweden and Prussia in the Seven Years War and this all occurred in the north and this was called the Pomeranian War, of course, duh. So we are going to be doing it on, on the Eve of War scenario from the 5th of April to February 1763 and this will give me a couple of months to prepare. I don't want to do it on the road to war or, in, or, or on the invasion because I want to talk a little bit about the economy first off just so you can see it in action a little bit before we get into the battle. But if I do it for too long it's just going to be incredibly boring so let's get started. The bit of background on this is that Sweden lost a lot of territory in the Great Northern War, a confrontation between Russia and Sweden, and in 1720 a bunch of Pomerania was ceded to Prussia, which was originally Swedish territory. And in the Seven Years' War, when Frederick decided to invade Saxony, the Hatz faction, which was in control of Swedish politics, decided to invade as a pretext to try and get that territory back. An overall result with the war was Nothing really happened, it was just a peace treaty. No territory really changed sides, and there were no major battles. Uh, fleet was did blockade a port for a while though, which was basically the only interesting part, but hopefully we're going to make it a little bit more interesting. So first off, we're going to take these soldiers up here and send them down towards the south, because I need to put them on the thing. What year does it actually start in? I can't remember. Um... Where's my tablet? Oh. Okay, let's set it up on this game speed, and I'm just gonna look it up quickly. Uh, tuck, 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 tuck. Um. Sorry about that. It started. Come on, give me something here. In 13th of September? No way. I thought it was a little bit before that. Background. Uh, course. It didn't start in September, no way. Alright, well, whatever. So, we got a few months to prepare, so we're going to put that on full speed ahead. Now, the main objectives was to take uh, Berlin and Stettin, these two places here, and also to ally with France. So, let's do that. We'll go into research, and let's improve our weapons first off. Let's go into diplomacy. Now, Let's just get trade treaty from him and from them and them. Alright, so we've got a bunch of trade treaties. Now, where is France? There it is. Okay, so political points uh, rely on your good nature towards a country. The more good things you do to a country, the higher your political points. So if you offer a trade treaty, you'll get more. But it's better illustrated through this. If you offer right of way, you'll get more points. If you demand it, you'll lose points. So we only have 62 and we need 63. So let's get 18 more points to get up to 80. Then we can offer alliance. Now we are allied with France. And they have a few more allies in the Homey Roman Empire and Russia. Now trade treaty. The thing about trade treaty is that it's completely automatic. Okay, they're starting war pretty quickly. So I guess we'll get involved later, once these guys get all their stuff set up. Alright, so let's put it on maximum game speed. Next thing we're going to do is take a look at the economy. So let's go into goods overview. And looking at this, we have basically everything we need. The only thing we're missing is just luxury items like furs, tobacco, sugar, and spice. That's not important. You mainly want to focus on bread, artillery, and swords, and other building materials. Let's go into production. Up here is your main thing. You want to get these guys to a positive number. Negative, you want to adjust. To adjust, try and get into a positive number. And I have to stress that try. You have to compare your selling price to the world market price. So this is selling for 87, while the world market price is 102. That's a little bit high, so let's lower it. I'd say you want to have it about 20 to 30 below the world price, and hopefully that will sell. 
To increase the priority of it, hang on, let's just go back. You can increase the minimum stock, which tells traders to stock up on it despite its price, but you will cop a loss. Or you can increase it up here to tell the traders to increase their priority. We're actually going to tell them to increase priority for the guns and swords now, because we do have a artillery manufacturer up here. Let's click on that, so he's selling them. I want maximum priority for that artillery. Okay. Let's increase the speed. And we're just going to adjust the prices a bit now. So this will just take a second just to get them all organized. Alright, that's good. Small number 74, 102. Okay, that's fine. Um, you can just generally click on all of them. Just do two clicks on the, on the arrow pointing down. That should be enough to get the price going a bit. Alright, that's fine. Um, then we can also 137. What are these? Iron. Wow, okay, you're really copying it badly. Craft producers producing textiles and they're selling at 541, 400 day 2, good enough. And this is a farm, 108. So yeah, sometimes it will increase, sometimes it won't. It's basically, it's a guess if it's going to work out or not. So what I will do actually, since I have so much lumber, what's this, goods, um, demand, so we have some... More supply than demand. And we more trade. So this, you can only get that going as fast as so far. Or if you actually can't be bothered working through it, you do have the option of selecting right or left on this uh, to tell the AI to work through it. Right to apply it to every company or left just for this company. 2029. We've got a couple losses there for profit, but that's okay for now. Probably not. What we will actually do is since we have two artillery pieces, two artillery things, where is it? Um, we're going to increase the minimum stock. There we go. And hopefully they'll work a bit more on that. Now hunting lodge. Uh, yep, they're making good profit off of that. Now let's send some guy. Wait, no, they're still moving. Of course they are. All right. How does my trading look now? Um. Let's increase one of those fish things. Why not? Uh, what am I looking at? Army supply, fleet supply, financial financials. Okay, everything is going into fleet and army payments, but I'm still not making a total income here. I'm just below. That's actually not that bad. You can see a hell of a lot worse sometimes. But they're making a profit. Let's try and get this sorted. Goddamn, 140, 210? What's wrong with you guys? Come on! Mm. I'll actually do increase in the stock with lumber because I do have a lot of lumber going on. And I do need these to be start making a profit. Actually, increase the minimum stock again. This is per company. Yeah, as, as I said, I'm still working through this game. Because. Hmm. What's this? This is. This thing wants to be on level 4. T! Okay, let's move these, see if we can't move these guys across the war now. So we have three armies in total. Now down here you can see fleet capacity. This is 4,500 men, so we're going to have to split these guys. So we're going to take him. And he has 1,392, so wait. So we can actually put some more soldiers into him, onto him. What's its range? Let's transfer some units over. Wait. Yep, that's fine. I think. Uh, who am I looking at now? This is 
7,000. Let's get closer. 7,000. And 4,700. Still too much. So we'll transfer. couple of those over. Come on. Oh, whatever. What are you doing? Why, why won't you move down? Come on. I'm not sure why it's acting like this. Maybe you have to form them into a brigade? Uh, whatever. Screw screw you. Work on you a second. Seven thousand three thousand ninety two. Good enough. We'll board him. This one's three thousand. We'll once this one transfers over, I'll move some more soldiers over here. Hopefully it should be enough. You click on this then to do a transport and move over here. Just right click and it should automatically just throw your troops onto the beach. Okay, move back. And let's do another transfer. Move these guys over. And how many do you have? 4,000. One second, have 4,000 more, 400 more soldiers. Let's see now. Move this one over. I think that should be enough. 5,000, 4,390, good enough. Do I need, I actually, ah, never mind. Come on, come on! Probably, you can probably hear why my dog's panting in the background, sorry, it's very warm, I do have the air conditioner going though. Okay, I'm copying way too much of a loss here, so screw it. I'm gonna put the put everyone on automatic. I don't even know if it's turned on or not. I have no idea. Whatever. Okay, they're all together. So let's combine these two these dudes for one single army. There we go. Board him. Then we'll move back, collect some more soldiers. So we'll probably have to do two more trips. It really should have an option to say if it's being automatically taken care of or not. Okay, transfer the two artillery brigades. So I just want one big army right now. Not sure why it's pulling this weird crap on me where I can't move soldiers. Was is... oh my You piece of crap, why are you doing this to me? Jesus. Alright, drop them off, transfer some more. Alright, diplomacy points, um, yep. We're not too, not too fussed about how everybody perceives me, so screw it. I'm not sure why it's not letting me transfer them over. Not very helpful game, not very helpful at all. Alright, recruits the Okay! I'm gonna have to say yes for that. We've lost a lot of money, but we have some more potential now for troops. 40% increase. I've just bankrupted my ass. That's bad. Let's see if I can't work this freaking thing. I 
Right, so you transfer over here, but... What the? Hang on. I'm not sure how this is working, to be honest. Yeah, screw it. I may have a couple of armies, but I can group them together at least. I have four armies now over there, and all one of them is big, but the rest are crappy. So I'm definitely gonna have to group because it's not making any freaking sense. Like 12,000 versus 11,000 over there, that'll work at least. So what we'll do is actually put an. Ooh, do I want to build something? Screw it. Let's put an officer school. See how that works. Alright, that's good. Finally. I don't have to deal with you anymore. Now you have no soldiers. You can embark so you can go away. Now I want to combine these two. We'll probably move you just out of range. Put you down here. Done. All right, he's done. He's. You can go go now. All right, all the war the war is starting, and I'm left out right now. I just want to. Oh my god, what am I looking at? You can embark as well. I don't need you for now. I just need to transfer you across. Somehow. I'm just clicking on random shit right now. Oh, whatever. Okay, now let's see if we can't replace this officer here. Um, place commander. Um... So, how many stars does he have? He's two stars, so I'll replace it with this dude here. Point commander. There we go. Okay, I'm going to stop this video now. Uh, hopefully you got a decent idea of how this is going. And if you enjoyed this content, please give a like, please give a sub. And in the next game, we'll actually start the war with Prussia. Um, yeah, I hope you have a fantastic day.